Hey, welcome to another quick video tutorial for uh, Patty for Lightroom. These are so easy to do that I probably will do just a whole lot more before I continue to write the user guide because this seems to go much faster and it's also more fun. I just wanted to quickly show how to map presets and uh, Patty's relative presets to uh, keys or anything else you want. So, um, as usual, we're going to start here in our keyboard assignment. Uh, here's a little keyboard, uh, and for instance, you can already see here in uh, Control Shift Q, I have already assigned uh, one of uh, one of uh, Lightroom's presets. Let's say I want to do Alt Shift Q. Um, I just uh, hit the buttons Alt Shift Q. Here you go. Um, it's bolded here. It's now, now mapped to none, and we can just go down here to Development Presets. This is a uh, new version of the. Uh, pick and choose uh, box here that I'm testing out. Um, right now the uh, the version that is online just has the development presets sort of in the first column um, and we'll have sooner or later something that looks more like a tree here in a more structured way but essentially it's going to be called development presets. You pick development presets sets, and uh, let's just pick something else here so it's uh, cyano black and white. Um, not that it really matters for our demonstration. That's an alt shift Q. Hit OK. Um, I go here. I hit Alt Shift Q, and my presets is applied. If I hit Control Shift Q, um, I get the other preset. You can see it goes really fast. Um, this is a, uh, a Windows 7 um, i Intel i7 laptop, uh, so it's a pretty good machine, but it should go reasonably fast ready on any machine. Um, and by the way, you know things like uh, Control Z work, of course. Um, and this whole thing also works if we just do it in the library, um, Alt-Shift-Q in the library module. So that's all fine and good. Um, uh, there were some discussions about, at some point, why Lightroom doesn't have a, uh, a relative preset. Let me just go here, where Lightroom doesn't have a relative preset uh, module. Now, a relative preset would be something that just moves sliders uh, a certain amount, not to a certain point, and so we implemented this in Patty. This is our Patty um, our relative preset module. I should probably have shown you how to get there. Again, you can go here uh, via presets and macros, relative presets, or you go to file, um, plug in extras, presets and macro. We really try to keep this parallel relative presets. And essentially, um, these are all the sliders and that Patty can address, which is basically every slider, and uh, you pick and choose what you want to do. So, say for some strange reason that I can't fully imagine, but we uh, we want to move in our raw um, complaints that I didn't put in a number here. We're going to put in our raw. Um, we want to move the raw slider up by 2,500, and we want to move the exposure slider down um, by say a full. Let's just sort of keep it ridiculous so something happens, and you know you can adjust whatever you want. So post crop yet, let's say uh, um, uh, we want the post crop yet to be fifty percent, and now we need to save this. Here up here is a save box. Um, you can see I have all kinds of tests and so on, but all you do is save current settings as a new preset, just like you do under Lightroom. Our little box pop up pops up. This is already in the right uh, folder uh, where Patty. Um, wants these, and we should we just call this video relative preset. Safe. All right. Now we are in a video relative preset. Uh, there you go. So let's hit OK. Let's put this on a key. Assign again to our trusty keyboard assignment here. Um, uh, since we had Q here, let's just test out whether everything works and do Control Alt Shift and Q. Um, and it did catch the control. There you go. Control Alt Shift and Q. And then we go again to uh, relative development presets. Uh, it's going to be under something called applied presets. There are some versions uh, right now where it's just sort of in the first column relative development preset. Here's we have it. Video uh, looks like I had a bit typo there. Video pr pr relative preset. Okay. And then we do uh, Control Alt Shift Q. And Patty walks with the sliders and applies it and is done. And so all the sliders have moved. You can see actually our history here um, shows that this is three moves. What happens is that Patty moves every slider sort of in order. Um, so you, you know, as you control Z, you sort of walk backwards through this. Um, those are Patty's relative presets. Very easy. Um, presets, relative presets go up here. 
um, if you want to change one, you you load it, uh, you change something, say this was a little much, um, 2000, again, I use these values for software show-off purposes, not for, not for anything really useful at this point, but uh, you have to develop your own um, presets. And we can even share these uh, from the folder. You just share the file online on the boards and we can share our relative presets. The one thing I want to note, if you change something, you have to save it again. So you have to go here, save current as a new preset and uh, you save it over the old one. It's going to ask you, do you want to replace it? Um, what it's, it's what's not implemented yet. We might do this as save, save current settings uh, on the current preset or something like this. So those are patties relative presets and development presets. You can uh, basically get any preset that you have in uh, Lightroom and you can get uh, any amount of relative presets that you can imagine into Patty. Um, thanks for listening. Talk to you later.